Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fate's Day Night Heaven's Feel Movie 1 and this is called Presage Flower. Now uh, from the title you guys, you guys must have guessed I have played the visual novel. I'm a visual novel player and I like I played the visual novel uh, like five or six years ago. It's been a long time and by that like you know from that thing you can probably understand that like I know the story. You know like i'm going to tell this beforehand because like a lot of people usually those people who react to it does not know the story but i actually know the story of like also sakura's story as well the heavens feel but that being said um it has been as i said five years even though i know what's going to happen i forgot each and every details so like it's it's going to be like a thing for like refreshment of my memory at the same time i'm going to look at the beautiful like what can i say the uh, animation of ufo table and like how they made this and yeah like that those are completely new to me i've not watched the movie but i've played the visual novel so that's just something that i wanted to tell you guys before uh, you guys must have guessed it from the title as well so yeah so as I said, like it's been a long time and I kind of forgot a lot of things about this, like about the Heaven's Feel route, that is Sakura's route. So yeah, it will be quite enjoyable even though I know, kind of know the story. And anyway, so yeah, like without further ado, let's get started with this video. I'll talk about my impressions of this video after this ends. And this will be like I'm doing uh, the first movie today. Uh, next week I'll do the second movie, and the, after that, uh, the, the next week after that I'll do the third movie. So it will be like I'll complete the whole trilogy like this. So yeah, guys. Um, without further ado, let's get started with Fate Stay Night, Heaven's Feel, Presage Flower. Uh, this is movie number one. So yeah. All right, guys. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> hmm. All right, let's see. Year and a half ago, summer. Oh, this is Sakura's Archery Club and, and Shiro's as well. Sakura used to do archery, didn't she? I forgot. Shiro left the club as far as I can remember. Oh my god, that douchebag is I, I I hate that guy. Shinji. God damn this guy. Different from the others. Well, there's a reason for that. <laughs> oh Okay. Those who have not watched this uh, movie or like are have not played the novel, you're going to understand why people hate Shinji so much after watching this movie. Don't worry after uh, Taiga, I'll come back to check. 
okay from where is it starting did like saber come no he has not summoned saber yet did he yeah i think so trace on Yep. <laughs> Strengthened. But it went away. Okay, so this is starting from the complete beginning. I like that. Oh, Sakura's here? Yeah, I think so. Oh, this is from that scene. Like when I, I, I was kind of unable to understand where this is starting from. When uh, Shiro broke his hand and Sakura came to uh, like, you know, came and did all of the like, like household work for him from that moment i think uh, he saved sakura like shinji was going to hate her or something and shiro like saved her or something like that got hurt in that process i cannot remember yeah he did not know sakura from like at this this moment <laughs> Taiga. Damn, Sakura looked really like you know. I'm sure his demeanor is going to ch her demeanor is going to change after this, as she spends more time with Shiro. <laughs> I feel bad that I know what's actually happening to Sakura at this moment. <laughs> yeah, it's good enough. Lost against her. Okay. A year and three months ago. Yeah. Now Sakura is looking a lot better. <laughs> Yeah, he left the... Ah, uh, there she is. 
<laughs> Same time. Ah, uh, yeah, it's with Sakura. Year and two months ago, winter. Hmm. Santa's here. <laughs> Santa Taiga. Damn. The hero of justice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, who adopted him? Mm. <laughs> oh, the cherry blossom? Yeah, Sakura. Wow, the it's beautiful the, the visuals like obviously it's just UFO table. But damn. Uh Issei Issei, I forgot his name. <laughs> yeah, Shinji's sister. <laughs> oh god here we go <sighs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah okay oh uh, what was his name i forgot kari no 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 kari was the uh, i forgot his name oh god <laughs> there you go I, I can't believe it, I forgot his name. What the hell? Oh, the caster's master. <laughs> you can do it better now. He's still practicing, yeah. Hmm. Oh, that guy's back. Oh, oh damn, yeah, the past. Hmm. A Fuyuki's incident. A uh, Fuyuki's incident. Ah, damn, that thing. I'm dreaming. Sakura. 
Visuals are amazing. Wow. They really like, you know, put ex immense effort into this. I can feel it. Cooking and archery. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Friends and sister. <laughs> Still a monk in training. <laughs> okay. Oh god, here he is. Mm -mm. Okay, here we go. Ha, huh, great. Oh, what happened? Oh, Rin, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, Shiro had a little, you know, a little crush on Tosaga for like from the beginning. Damn, the whole incident is bugging her. Oh, okay. He has to like the people he dislikes. <laughs> yeah, what is this? <laughs> okay. Like, there's always been a part of me which, like, really tried to like Shinji's character. But after the novel ended, vision novel ended, especially Heaven's Field Route, I still could not, like, I cannot, I do not like him at all. 
Okay. Like he's a flawed character. And quite an unfortunate character. Oh, who the? Oh my god, this is Zoken. Zoken. His name was Zoken, wasn't it? I forgot. Ah, oh, great. Well, Shiro doesn't know about that. At least now. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> that sound effect. Oh. Okay, they're really taking their time and adapting this. I'm really liking this. They're not rushing the story. Ah, there she is. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. You're gonna die. Yep. <laughs> Honey chan. Alright. Let's be Catholic. Oh. Oh, there it is. The command spells. Ah, uh, yes. Well, ah. Uh. Harder. Wait a minute. Okay, the bad. Can my memory is a little bit murky here. Uh, I think there's a barrier going on. Forgot. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh god.
I hate this guy, like... Well, he wants to be a hero of justice, so yeah, that's Emiyashiro. Oh uh, yeah, this is where it happens. This portion was also shown in the unlimited blades work uh, blade works as well like this part of the story is same in all of the rules i think so and then it starts branching into the three rules into the okay there you go okay well <laughs> here comes the animation Oh no, here. Zashu is here. Zashu. <laughs> God damn. Oh. Okay, here it comes. There's my boy Lancer. Okay. And there it is. Okay, the blood. Oh, this is how it starts. Wow. Damn, that was quite a thorough like introduction. I'm really glad they decided to not rush the story. Yeah, I'm sure you guys know what happened here, don't you? Like, because you must have seen Unlimited Blade Works, even if you have not played the novel. Like, like those who have seen Unlimited Blade Works and the Fate Route, you don't need to see the Fate Route. Only Unlimited Blade Works will do. Yeah, it's all like kind of like I think uh, like fast forwarding, like the whole thing with uh, Lancer like killing him and then Rain coming and saving him using the pendant. And he comes back and Saber is here.
God damn. This... Hmm. Oh God. And they're also like fast forwarding this portion as well. Okay. Hmm. Ah, there's Archer. <laughs> that raincoat, that famous raincoat of Saber. Irene is also here. How strange fate can be? Yeah, sure. Like, really. Strange fit to speak of gospel. Okay, they fast forwarded that portion. Okay, that's okay. Because we already know it from the Unlimited un Blade works. Everything, like the same thing happens. And here we will meet our beloved priest. Yep. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's really amazing, like watching this, like, because, okay, like after playing the novel, I can see a lot of things that a lot of newcomers won't be able to understand. It's like a completely different perspective, I'm looking at it. Hmm. Hmm. Catastrophe. Yeah, the the fluke incident. Five hundred casualties. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of a traumatic thing for him. Ha! This is Kira you're talking about. He loves doing that. <laughs> Momentarily, yes. Yeah, I think he, he destroyed it, didn't he? Yeah. Ah, about that. 
Um. <laughs> yes. I was there. Yeah, he fought. Yes. Okay, Leah's here. Yep. Intruders. Ilya knew Saber, didn't she? Like, she was quite small at that time. But... I'm sure Saber recognizes her. Yeah, she must recognize her because, like... like Ilya is just like a splitting image of Iris Yeah, <laughs> You're not going to be in. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Wow, I'm loving this. Like looking, it's like completely looking at the story through a different perspective. No, he, she remembers. She's an exception as far as I can remember. Like Saber. I'm gonna talk about this later on after the movie ends. The, why like Saber is an exception? I think I, I like heard something about that. Oh! Oh! I'll kill <laughs> Pasaka! Oh boy! Okay, I'm looking forward to this fight! Oof! Oh! Wow, wow, wow! Okay, damn! The sound effects! Wow, damn, Ilya. Okay. Damn. Hmm. Okay, and yeah, there it is. Yeah, oh god. Well, he'll be fine because Emiya has something inside him. Excuse me. <laughs> That's extremely true.
yeah you're not on the side of other one or like forsaking someone else they they're showing us you saw that you saw that glow inside him i'm not sure if you guys know it but it counts as a spoiler but there is something within emia which helps him yeah regenerate I'm going to talk like a lot about this in after the it ends like it will spoiler field like the post uh, reaction discussion <laughs> Well technically you can so Well, that's what Emia is. He wants to be a uh, like hero of justice, so. Hmm. Um, about that, well, <laughs> technically that doesn't happen. Yeah. <clears throat> well, about that. Oh, I cannot remember this portion. Is this Casta? I can't remember this portion. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, there's a barrier. This must be Caster, isn't it? Or am I mixing it up with someone else? Ooh. Oh, this is that girl. I forgot her name. Uh, the Archery Club president? Mitsuzuri. Okay. Oh. Oh no, this is Ryder. Okay. Hmm. Ah, god damn it. Well. Technically, Saber is stronger than Ryder, at least at this moment. <laughs> you don't even know who that is, like... Lie. <laughs> That's a lie. Hmm. It's 
only natural for me. Come on, let's go. Save her. Back to back two fights. Well, Saber is pretty strong, like... There you go! Yup, she is extremely strong, like, at least at this moment. Oh, damn! Well, there you go, Shinji. Go back home. You cannot control your servant properly. <laughs> <laughs> Go back home, Shinji. You're drunk. <laughs> he was like yapping around. This is the result. Yeah. Bye bye, Shinji. Oh no, she's going to. Oh, great. It's technically your fault, Shinji, because you're incom incompetent. God damn. Well, you are actually, so... Shinji, you have not completed your training arc. Go back home and like... <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> there he is. Loken. God damn. Like, the whole family is messed up. Hmm. Okay, well. Incompetent. <laughs> ah. Uh, there it is. <sighs> okay, god damn. You know what? Like, I kind of feel sometimes the whole like Shinji's like behavior and everything how he is now is kind of the fault of his family because he was not brought up properly if he was most pro like if he was brought up by a proper family he wouldn't have been like this so technically it's not his fault it's the fault of his surroundings his family that's what made him this way so i kind of feel bad for him sometimes but then i remember what he has done throughout the whole series and it like pisses me off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Okay, will he? Yeah, he said it. He said it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, she remembers. Okay. Okay, like there's a reason why she remembers. I'm going to talk about this later on. Yeah. Mm. Betrayed the Holy Grail. Killed one to not let him live. <laughs> That's what like Kirisu is about, like you know. He chooses the majority, even if it means like killing the one person whom, who like he loves. As I said, like an incorrigible saint. That's why, like he took you out, you know. Like he adopted you. <laughs> Sinful <laughs> Ah, well, those are not good memories. Oh yeah, I think, yeah, uh, oh no, yep, there it is.
Well, who else? Oh. <laughs> oh god <clears throat> hmm, yeah there's a big problem here the problem is that Shinji beats up his sister yeah Rin realizes it that Usakura is hmm. I think this is where it branches, doesn't it? I can't remember the whole root branches here or a little uh, like before this because in unlimited blade works I, I don't think like he decided to keep sakura with him it's been a long while i've played the visual novel so i kind of forgot a lot of things <laughs> saber and her love for food <laughs> well, it's about, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Taiga. <laughs>
Well... Okay. Oh, this is... Oh, God. Oh, yeah. He... Yeah, in this route, he... I think... Ah, oh, God. Okay, I cannot remember this part. What happened to uh, Caster then? Caster is also here, isn't she? Damn, it feels bad seeing like assassin. Soichiro, okay, I need to remember. Yeah. Where's Caster? There she is. Oh no. Oh god. Yeah. Okay, I really f cannot remember this this portion what actually happened oh this is oh god this is um a set hassan isn't it yeah 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 There's rule breaker. Yeah, this is Hassan. Wait, Hassan was in this route? I forgot completely. Okay, it's, it's oh no, it seems I really do not remember a lot of things. Oh no, come on. Yeah, this route is a bit, like, more brutal. Oh, there's that. Oh god. Okay, I cannot recall that portion from the visual novel. Huh. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is, um... No, that's not... God.
Evet. Yok. <gülüyor> Oh, is it? Yeah, oh no. Hmm. Oh, she went there later on. But what did she... it's Custer who was his? In... Okay, that we know. Kuzuki. Yeah. Oh, Kuzuki Sochi, I forgot his name. These things did not happen in the other route. It's unlimited blade works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, who is this? Ah, oh, acha. <laughs> when did Rin use one of her command spells? I cannot remember. Um, she must have used it somewhere, like. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, who's here? Is it Rin? Who? Who is this? Shinji? Oh my god, that's, this douchebag is here again. God damn it, he comes to other people's house and... Suck, punch him, punch him please. Come on. Shinji is messing with... Yeah. You know what pisses me off most about this guy? Like he... Like he is... He cannot do anything properly. He still like acts like he's a... Like you know?
God damn. This guy, like... Well, thankfully, he gets what he deserves by the end of it. By the end of every route, I think. I think in one, only in one of the routes, or did he die in every route? I cannot remember. And also, the whole uh, thing with Archer is also bothering Shiro. Like, you know, Archer said that. It's someone who cannot control his power properly. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this scene. I remember it. <laughs> there are two persons, not two, but three. Like one was Emiya, and there were two of them. <laughs> As far as I can remember, Rin was also here. I think she was down. Like Sakura was up in the building and she was down. Like, There's nothing new. Like in Unlimited Blade Works, it show, showed that scene later on. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yes, just like you. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's why he gained his cooking skills. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, yeah. What's happening here? Oh, this is... Oh, yeah. Oh, he, yeah, yeah, Lancer is here. Damn. <laughs> Feel the little sand book. Woo! Okay, another fight scene. Ooh. Okay. Wow, this is amazing. Okay. And... Oof. Okay. Oof. Damn. Oh. <laughs> wow. This is. And. The, the person who's driving the truck <laughs> he is like not even bothered by this
Okay. Damn. Oh, oh. Okay, this is. <laughs> Damn. Well, Oh, oh. Oh. Um Lancer, yes. Oh, okay. Protection from arrows. Well, you're a bit at a big disadvantage. Hmm. Damn. Ooh. Soon enough. <laughs> Sandbug in water. Okay. What the? I cannot remember this portion at all. I'm sure I've played this portion in the novel, but I forgot. Damn. Yeah, what is this? Zabania! And... Save your heart! Save your heart! Okay! Okay, come on! The gay bunk! Okay, this is... Like, you cannot... Like... Like... Like, this does not miss. Because the effect and the casualty is like reversed, I think. Oh, he already got his heart! Oh! Oh! He, God damn it! Yeah, I can kind of remember now. Like, Lanza should have used his gay ball before this. He could have won. Like, he underestimated him. God damn, yeah, like he got his heart. Yeah, this route completely changes like everything like all of the people who were alive in unlimited blade works like dies most of them dies in this route and there are like unexpected combinations that happens like after this 
like like this route is extremely unique in that way like a lot of unexpected things happens god damn yeah and lancer dies again in this route as well oh god Ugh. Ugh. We're being monitored. Hmm. Yes. Ah. No. Oh, oh, this is this that's caster, isn't it? Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, he corrupted them. I can kind of remember it now. God damn. Oh no, the rule breaker. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll, it'll seal. Oh, Archer is here. Yeah, yeah. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, what is this? Oh. Oh no. Damn. Who is this? Is that who? Oh, this is um, I'm not going to say anything, but yeah. It's, it'll technically count as spoilers, so... Oh! Woo! Okay, better run.
<sighs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Ah, good. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like this is, I think the the route where like Archer really like helps them properly instead of his own personal like you know like the things that he came here to fulfill instead of like doing that. Kirei and his mapo tofu. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Yoroko we shone, you'll get my special mapo tofu. <laughs> Oh my god, the animation! Beautiful! <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. One servant got away from the temple. That was a uh... That was Hassan, wasn't it? Yeah, it's assassin. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is confusing, you know, like the whole thing, how it happens. Okay. Hmm. Token marker. Yeah. Damn, another plate of Mapo Dofu. Okay. Hmm. 
act of eating <clears throat> what's that the number of camel hmm. Oh, okay. No, definitely not. Hmm, that's okay. Yeah. Well... Well, he wants to be a hero of justice. Yeah, like he has to be there because he's the master, you know. Okay. Damn, and there they are. Oh god. Ah. Yeah, run, Shiro. Like Okay, well Yeah. Yeah. 
Damn. Ah, oh, Zoken. Oof. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh, he he got into this win. Oh, okay. Protection against winds, against winds. Oh no, this thing again. Yeah, this, oh yeah, yeah, this happens. The whole, oh god. Saber altar. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh God, the Zabania again. Come on, use your like, noble fantasy. But using the noble fantasy is like showing your trump card. Okay, good job. Yeah, th this is what you. The command spells are there. I forgot about them completely. There you go. There's a. Oh god. Yeah, he lost. Okay. Oh no, this is this like Ah oh. Okay. Oh Assassin is here. Oh, God. Okay, what happens here? I cannot remember. Oh, is this? Yeah, yeah, it's Ryder. Well?
<laughs> ok. Oh! Ok! Uh! Damn. <laughs> She's wiping the floor with him. <laughs> Zogan, you you went away too quickly. <laughs> Zogan was like, oh, like my assassin will do the job, and he just went away to I don't know, like like to like sip some coffee or something, <laughs> or sip some tea, and yeah, this is what happens. Uh, yeah. No need to be, you know. Ah. Uh. Okay, I can kind of remember the main parts, but all of these things, like, it left my memory, like, what happens after what. Like... <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> oh, there's... Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, not. Yeah, the command seals are gone. You lost. <clears throat> and... Mm. Oh, yes. God damn this place. Oh. Damn vampire. Ha <laughs> 
I forgot their names. The the two Sela Sela yeah, and the other other one. Ah, the saber. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah. No. Mm, that is yeah saber altar oh god she doesn't have her ahoge <laughs> you yank saber's ahoge off she becomes an altar <laughs> Well, <laughs> that's a tough job you've taken upon your shoulders. Oh, that's the end. Ah, oh, and the ending song by Imer. Wow. Okay. Okay, so the thing that happened, like, I kind of said that I played the novel, but it has been like five or six years I've played it. So I remember the main portions, you know, the whole portion of like the like Sakura coming to live with them, then the whole thing with <clears throat> uh, Kide, and then like I've, I've completely forgot the assassin portion. Uh, Hassan coming into the picture, I completely forgot about that, and uh, like. Caster and um, what else? Uh, the other assassin, Sasaki, Sasaki Koji. These are all spoilers. Okay, so if you guys like, you know, I doubt you guys are uh, like watching this for the first time because you must have like seen Unlimited Blade Works. But still, like I'm saying, like these are all like from now on, it will be spoiler territory. 
most of the things i'm going to mention which are spoilers so spoiler here like sasaki kojiro the whole thing with sasaki kojiro and media like uh, them like dying uh, just like that and zoken coming and like uh, summoning uh, uh, what's his name hasan and those things i completely forgot like i only remembered the kirei portion uh, sakura coming to live with them that portion and then i remembered uh, the alterification of saber how like saber turns into a like into saber altar and then i'm not going to say after what like what happens after this like i remember a few main portions after this as well like how like in this uh, like episode we can see like shiro is out of the game isn't he but how he's going to get back into it you know like that portion comes i'm, I'm guessing that will be in the next uh, movie uh, how he gets back to the game like that portion i remember uh, like bits and pieces of and then like what actually happens who is the one that is sucking you know the whole like the mana of everyone that portion uh, what's up with sakura those things i remember and then after that like what happens to uh, shinji like in the end like what happens to ilia like uh, what happens to saber and like what happens to sakura like all of these things like i remember like the main points but the things that are happening before and after that the what can you say the journey i forgot the whole journey but i remember the ending points you know so that's why like um I can kind of understand what's happening because I've played the whole thing in the novel but a few things I forgot completely just like as I said the whole um like assassin coming into the scene and uh like spoiler here uh, Lancer or Kuhulin like dying like that like all of those things I forgot completely and another reason behind that is because as far as I can remember uh the first route that is a fate route that is Saber's route and Rin's route, that is unlimited blade works, those are more or less kind of similar in a way, like not similar, like they're different, uh, especially the endings and the middle portion. But what happens in it, kind of similar. The people, the, like the servants that are alive, are more or less the same. But like I remember it now, this route is completely different. Like it's like a completely new story. Like all of the servants who were like alive in the previous uh, like route they're all dead and the servants who are dead are all alive in this like you know in this uh, route all of these things so it's quite different and it's quite uh, what can i say unique in that way especially what happens to shiro after this like i love that portion especially in the novel like how shiro gets back into the war and i think the coolest shiro out of all the roots is this shiro like the heavens feel root shiro is the coolest and the most strongest i think as, as far as i can remember so like it's like a completely new story you're reading and this is why i love fate because fate stay night the thing that started everything uh the fate root that is saber's root and um the unlimited blade works and the heavens feel root it's not a typical visual novel like visual novel what happens like there's like a common root and then it branches this is not that it like branches from the beginning the whole story and like branching means completely branching in a different direction like as we see like in this root the people who are alive are dead where no the people who are dead were alive in the previous roots so it's like a completely new story and like i love this and another thing i have to say is like even though I've been a fate fan for so long, there are still a few things I do not understand about fate. Yeah, especially uh, related to the Holy Grail. There are a few things that I still am unable to properly, like, you know, understand because there are a lot of things in fate, a lot of explanations. You know, the whole counter force system and uh, like the whole Holy Grail system, the whole like there's like two grails like these are all spoilers okay that's it like these are all spoilers like the whole like the greater grail and the lesser grail a few things are still like not clear even though i have watched fate for so long so <laughs> yeah this is a quite a complicated show so uh 
So like people who watch this for the first time are definitely going to get overwhelmed. So that is why I, I feel like a lot of people usually like do not get into fate or even if they start fate, they are uninterested. They do not get interested in it because of the whole complicated storyline. Like I've seen a lot of people kind of start fate and because they're not understanding anything uh, is like they kind of like, you know, drop it. But if you like take your time and really under like try to understand it bit by bit, Fate is one of the best like series ever to exist. Like, yeah, like I love it so much. Like this whole Fate franchise, the Fate Grand Order franchise, franchise, like it's so good. The whole like not only the Fate franchise, the whole Typhoon franchise, Karn of Yokai, and like um, Mask I know Yoru. After like Mask I know Yoru, the novel has still not like come out. So yeah but anyways uh like the translation i'm talking about anyways so let's talk about this episode uh not episode this movie okay this was the first part uh next week i'll do the second part and uh the beginning was pretty uh i'm sure a lot of guys you guys have been able to recognize it what well, like what happens it's, it's kind of similar to the first part of the other roots as well like how um you know um like shiro gets injured and uh like sakura <coughs> excuse me oh my god i bit my tongue oh. <laughs> oh my god sorry okay how sakura like how Sa god damn it okay so uh how shiro injures his hand and how sakura comes and like thinks that it's her responsibility i think i cannot remember this portion but i think uh he saved sakura from something that's why Sakura felt a lot less responsible for this thing. So that's why she came, you know, and decided to do all the housework for him and gradually started liking Shiro. And that like we already knew it from the other roots. Um, I cannot remember if they showed us in Unlimited Blade Works, but in the novel it was shown like, like quite clearly. So the whole thing. And yeah, and then like they, mm, uh, like uh, then like it happens and like then Shiro's like then Sakura keeps coming even after his hand is all okay you know like uh, makes uh, like do does cooking and like a uh, lot of the houseworks household works as well and like learns cooking from Shiro and those are like all similar and then like the, like sh uh, the whole thing with the you know the, they go to school and there's like a barrier in it like who like spoiler here I'm sure you guys know the original names uh, Ku, Hulin and like Archer, they're fighting and like how like uh, Shiro like dies kind of like gets heavily injured at that moment and how like this, are all, this all happened in Unlimited Blade Works and how like um, Rin comes and saves him with the pendant and he goes back like gets introduced to Saber and then um then the like fight ensures again and then ring comes in and like introduces herself and says that let us like uh, like you're new let's go to the church like i have a person who you know knows about this thing that is koto minekire and they go to the church and they like talk about it and like all of these things happened in the like in previously and then Ilya comes in and everything I think it starts branching in this route especially when like Shiro decides to let Sakura, Sakura stay with him. I don't think this thing happened in the previous routes. I cannot remember as I said my uh, like memory is murky because it's been a long time I've played a novel. But I think this is how when the, it, the route branches you know where like Shiro decides to let Sakura stay with him and uh, like things start to get in, go into a completely different direction and uh yeah oh and another thing uh they showed us that thing uh the whole thing with when like shiro got like you know like heavily injured when he came in front of um saber to save him uh like everyone thought that oh my god he's going to die or something like that but he got healed so easily now spoiler alert um I don't know, I cannot remember if they showed, like, explained this portion in the previous routes. But, like, like people who have seen Fate Zero 
and who have seen like the whole like unlimited blade was i'm sure you guys must have realized what actually happened there um they also showed us that portion like when like shio was kind of like you know falling and there's like this thing within himself that was glowing <clears throat> that was avalon that is the uh, sheath of uh, like uh, arthas excalibur now people who have like seen fate zero must have remembered that avalon was once with um iris feel like iris feel used to keep it with herself like kirisugu made it so that he she is okay because uh, like avalon's like regenerative power is immense so and later on like she like uh like gave the avalon to uh kirisugu or when like she he went into the final battle or something like that and i cannot remember but like it's also been a long time i've seen fate zero but yeah and uh, that Avalon was the relic which was used to uh, summon uh, Saber. Uh, so that's why, like, after the whole incident, after the whole Fate Zero incident, uh, like the whole uh, Fuyuki, like the incident that happened to Fuyuki when, like, say, like Shiro was saved by Kiritsugu. Kiritsugu, uh, as far as I can remember, uh, implanted the Avalon into uh, him, like, into Shiro. That's why, um, like. Even though Shiro had no relic with him, you know, he summoned Saber and like Saber came to him because Avalon was within himself. It was like the relic that triggered the whole thing. And that's also the reason why like Shiro's wounds healed. I think there was a, like a portion where like, um, Arthur, like Arthur kind of like explains, Artoria explains that she says that uh, like, <clears throat> like, uh, she obviously she got the uh, uh, got Excalibur from the Lady of the Lake Vivian, and uh, like I think Merlin told him that asked her uh, asked her that what do you think is more important, the sword or the scabbard? I think uh, Arturia like answered the sword or something like that. And then I think uh, Merlin said that no, the scabbard is the more important one, which is the Avalon. Like the scabbard like, protects you. Like it protects the sword and it's like a protective, it's a defensive thing. So be sure to always keep the Avalon with you. You won't die. But later on, like uh, I think in the Arthurian tale, I'm not sure. Like, uh, like uh, I might be wrong, but uh, like in the Arthurian tale, like uh, he loses the Avalon as far as I can remember. And after that, the whole battle of like between Mordred and um like you know arthur happens i think it was called the battle of camelan where like mordred like uh like gives like uh, gives a mortal blow to arthur and arthur like uh, pierces mordred with his uh, with her with his uh, wrong omniad and then um like arthur like uh, you know like that's why she like got a mortal wound because avalon was not with her and like um Bedivere, like took her to um uh you, you guys know what happened after that like uh, like arthur told him to like um like throw the sword into the lake and like Bedivere went three times as far as i can remember but i was unable to like throw it by the end of it she threw it and like uh, arthur was taken to uh, uh i think avalon and like it was said that when the uh, when the world will be in danger again arthur will come back something like that as far as i can remember as the arthurian legend goes so like that was the main thing with avalon why it has such a yeah like huge regenerative power and why shiro was saved over here um these are all spoilers you guys like if you guys are completely new to the show i would advise you to like i kind of said this before like i would advise you to skip this portion because i'm going to talk like go into heavy spoiler territory now and um yeah and then like uh oh also another thing uh, another thing uh, that i was like a little bit um you know like what can i say like that i found that i could not remember that arthur remembering everything like arturia remembering everything that happened the previous holy grail war uh, just a second uh, let me just check one thing you know Excuse me. All right. Um, oh, 
Okay. Um... I cannot really remember the actual reason. Uh... Okay, okay, here it is. I think this is the place. Um, where, where is it? Uh... Uh... Oh yeah, okay, 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 I remembered it. I, I knew this, why this happened, but I forgot completely. Um, again, spoiler alert, uh, why does Saber remember the past Grail Wars? Uh, what usually happens is like um, the servants who are summoned, um, I think they're, they're summoned from the throne of heroes and uh, like after like they come to a like you know like a, a, like a, a certain era as a servant, they get to know all of the like things that are happening, all of the modern things. That's why they, 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 they can like you know uh, like ride uh, like uh, what can I say like drive a car and like all of the modern things that they know what happened so and then like after he or she dies he goes back and the memories are wiped as far as I can remember and then like after he or she's summoned again it's like a completely new thing you know but why does Saber remember the past Grail War with the Grail War with Kiritsu that's because uh, Saber's uh, thing is a little bit different like saber uh here it is like saber made a pact with the um world i think um where is it uh yeah when she was dying now she was not dead when she was dying she made a pact similar to emia i think you know similar to archer like i think archer also made a pact with the world as far as i can remember uh, the whole thing with the counter uh, force uh, and then like uh, that's why the uh, holy grail uh, like in order to grant her wish they freezed her I think in that moment when she was dying and like she is brought back from that uh, stage to the other eras I might be wrong you know like uh, like uh, as I said like fate still confuses me a lot of things still confuse me so it's something that as far as like as I can like you know understand and so like what will happen if she like gets like succeeds in like uh, winning the grail and if her wish comes true she will become a counter guardian after her death uh, you know the counter hold the counter force so that's why I think like uh, she is like she remembers what actually happened like because she's not dead saber was kind of like made the wish when she was dying so anyways like that's just something and i think like um what can i say like emia also kind of had the same thing as far as i can remember because he also made a wish and that's why he became a uh, force of the count, uh, guardian of the counter force. And that's why, like you know, like he, time by time, he came and saved the world. But by the end of it, like he saw how people were, you know, like how becoming a, a hero of justice is not so easy. How it is all like useless. <laughs> like that's why he wants to kill his past self so much to destroy the uh, what can you say naive. The naive young youth that once uh, like wanted to become a, a hero of justice. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that that's also I think the same thing with Emia. But yeah, anyways, that's something completely different. And uh, like a lot of things, I could see a lot of things with a completely new perspective in this, uh, like in this movie. And as I said, I've forgot a lot of things as well because the whole thing with uh, like Lancer and um like caster dying and then like a new assassin coming out um those things were really what can i say i, I really forgot about them completely forgot and uh, now that i've seen it i can kind of like remember it again uh, bit by bit and another thing um if you guys uh what can i say like if you guys are confused uh, about why um like you know like the arthur was there 
like Arturia Pendragon, uh, that is like Saber. He was, uh, she was uh, there when she fought with uh, Ryder, you know, and when like Shinji came, and he she just like you know kind of wiped her in a second, and she, like she, like she was so strong at that moment. So I, I'm sure a lot of uh, people who do not know like have not seen this route completely, the Heaven's Field route. I'm not going to say any spoilers. So like you know, uh, like must be confused. Then why did like you know, uh, Saber who lost to the assassin to the new assassin, uh, how was uh, Ryder able to subdue that same assassin? You know later on because like Medus uh, like uh, Ryder like uh, lost previous you know, so how did she, how was she able to do that? Well the answer here is like it's it's not some like mistake that the you know the author made. Like it's not any power imbalance. It's, it's, there's nothing like that. There's a reason behind this. Uh, the reason was like Shinji was using Ryder at that moment. But later on things changes. Like you know when we see like Shinji was unable to like do anything. Uh, uh, with Ryder like, Artu, like uh, Saber kind of wiped the floor with uh, Ryder. Oh my god. And then later on like like we all see that shinji says that oh my god like uh like give me another chance in front of zoken and zoken says that oh you don't have the talent like go back home shinji something like that and that's where the you know that thing ends now a few weird things happens after that which we are going to like um see in the next in the next movie or after that the, or the third movie anyways in the two last two movies we're going to see a lot of things uh, a lot of extremely interesting things how the like story goes from there what happens to Ryder after that you know why is she able to come here like I'm like I'm like you know the weird thing I'm trying to like keep it like I'm kind of saying that yeah these are like spoilers I'm like making it like that but it's really un like uncomfortable to talk uh, like while like hiding the spoilers so so yeah like um, I don't know what to do like I'm sure like it, th these like movies have come out for a long while so I'm sure most of you have seen so I should probably like talk like you know like like I know everything like uh, without like hiding the spoilers because I'm sure you guys have seen this movie uh, I hope so so like I I'm really conflicted as to, to what to do because I really want to talk about like everything freely but I am kind of concerned as to like uh, if people will get spoiled who have not watched it or not so like I'm trying my best to kind of mention that oh like these portions are spoilers so that you know but it's really difficult to keep hiding especially the true names which i'm trying <laughs> okay like uh, you know what i i'll do like I, i'll not like you know i'll not hide the true names after this because it, it's really weird like i'm i'm like i'm accustomed to uh, talking about them using their true names so like referring to them with their class names is really weird and i'm like kind of like you know messing it up and trying to, like saying their true names most of the times so yeah like uh, I'm going to mention this in the comment section uh, like especially the discussion are heavily spoiler filled so I'm going to talk freely you know because I myself I'm a visual novel player and so I'm going to talk freely I'm going to use all the true names and everything so I'm going to mention like mention this in the comment section so if you guys are like new you know like new to this um, theories and do not know what's actually happening or what are the true names there'll be heavy spoilers so you know like keep out of the like uh, try not to like watch my post discussion scene because it will be spoiler filled so yeah i'm going to talk freely like it's really weird talking like this like trying to hide the spoilers like i cannot like talk like this properly so yeah and um Excuse me. And yeah, and another thing I wanted to talk about uh, is like Shinji. Now Shinji is like as like Sakura said that I really you know I really wanted to like Shinji. 
like uh, when i played the novel when i uh, saw the like anime i really wanted to like shinji but he is a completely unlikable character i hate him i know that as i said before i kind of mentioned it while reacting to it like if shinji was brought up in a good family in a normal family probably he would not have been like this but unfortunately that's not the case his whole family is sick his whole family is messed up that's how he all also like he was also brought up in that manner now he's a messed up like you know messed up guy and even though he is a really unfortunate character in most of the roots especially his end how like you know how like his his end the end scene like what happens to him by the end of it i i really cannot feel any sympathy for him especially because of this root what like what he like does to sakura that is something that i really really do not like and it's like you know um uh, that kind of makes me think that even though like he is an unfortunate character he is a unfortunate victim of the circumstances of you know because he was brought up like that i cannot forgive him i really hate this guy i like i hate him with every fiber of my being uh you know the funny thing when i started the novel there were two characters who i hated you know when i finished uh, fate stay night the whole visual novel um this guy uh, shinji and gilgamesh <laughs> but now um i love gilgamesh especially after fate grand order So when I saw Gilgamesh in this uh, like you know movie for the like for the first time today like <laughs> unfortunately I cannot hate him like he does a lot of bad things especially in Fate Stay Night a lot of bad things but yeah I I cannot hate him like like it's, it's a different thing for Gilgamesh but Shinji oh my god I I do not like him I I I doubt I will ever ever like him so yeah and like even though gilgamesh does a lot of messed up stuff in this route in the previous route uh like uh, in the fate route as well because of how he inherently is as a character as a king i cannot hate him because i think uh the reason why he becomes like this in the fate stay night series is because of the timeline you know uh like during this moment the, the timeline uh, where he is from that moment he was this arrogant king you know who wanted everything for himself but as time goes on you know the gilgamesh from fate grand order babylonia the, who we see as a caster he is a matured person this gilgamesh he he is like a what can i say a rebellious teen i can say but that gilgamesh he is a matured you know guy and the especially the death of enkidu it changed him completely his way of seeing the world changed and he became a wise ruler especially after that so because i know his past and the future i really cannot hate him you know so even though he is a douchebag in like in fate stay night gilgamesh i i'm a little bit like you know favorable towards him like is what can i say like a favoritism is that what is called yeah and uh yeah i'm a bit biased towards him so even though he does a lot he will do a lot of messed up stuff in the upcoming two movies i probably still could not hate him but shinji i hate him i hate him with every fiber of my being so yeah and As you guys, uh, I'm not sure if you guys know, but uh, obviously, out of the three uh, heroines in Fate Stay Night, uh, Saber, Rin, and um, Sakura, uh, Rin is my favorite. You know, I loved Rin's Rin as a character. Like you know, like out of the three roots, I think um, in department of the story, Heaven's Field is the best. But as like as for myself i love the unlimited blade works route the most because rin is the main hero in it, there so it's like a weird thing you know so yeah and um what else yeah nothing much to talk about in this uh, movie because we kind of saw what's happening 
you know like the whole thing with uh, the uh, like the masters and the servants who we have seen in the previous two books they most of them kind of died and later on like shiro also <coughs> loses arturia uh, like uh, saber and uh, saber kind of becomes a altar by the end of it uh, like that was like the major branching portions i think and like shiro himself kind of getting entangled into this whole like war like as far as i can remember in unlimited blade works and the fate route he acted as a master but in this route he himself gets like you know um what can i say he himself gets um in entangled into this whole war like his servants are there but it's more like he is fighting the war himself so that's why i really like this route so much like it's extremely like you know unique from the other two routes that's why i said like I, uh, in story department i loved the heaven feel heaven's feel the most but as uh, like pers as me myself uh, i favor unlimited blade works because of rin and yeah like we get rin in this uh, you know in this uh, route as well but not as much as we get it in the in her own route so yeah and later on in the by the end of it like uh, rider also comes in and yeah it's like ended there so we're going to get the next portion uh, i'm guessing uh, what happens to shiro after this and uh, a lot of the secrets will be uh, you know kind of shown to us the mysteries will be um, untangled bit by bit and by uh, the, uh, the next and uh, in the next movie it will be kind of like that and in the end ending movie they will get a conclusion so yeah and the conclusion is like all of the uh, roots conclusion is quite nice in fate stay night you know um, only uh, the fate route that is saber suit was kind of sad in a way but in the end uh, it is like everything kind of becomes okay when like you know in the alternative version of the fate route of i think it's called rialta nua where spoiler again uh, like after uh, you know like like shiro dies he goes and meets saber in avalon and it's like they like meet again so in that way it's kind of like you know a good like you know a good ending but still like i, I think like uh, the ending of uh, unlimited blade works and heaven's feel are a lot better <coughs> than the fate route that is sable's route but yeah so yeah guys that was it i loved everything about this and it's like really nice to see everything getting animated your foot table is doing the um, like animation i love it and like you guys must know like like the like you you for tables like animation is so damn amazing i like it, it was a really amazing experience like looking at this beautiful animation and the beautiful soundtrack and like getting to see this like animated like when i played the novel it was like you know like lines after lines of word and like no animation nothing only the sprites of the characters but obviously it delved a lot more into the story but still like seeing everything getting animated so beautifully is like a like you know a dream come true and i never even thought that uh, like when i played the novel that we will get a day like this when we can uh, see this beautiful uh, like this route getting animated so beautifully and yeah and it's really amazing so yeah guys uh, that's it guys thank you guys for watching i'll mention it in the comments that these will be spoiler filled discussions i'm sure you guys have watched it uh, and you're like it's been a long time that this this uh, movie and the second movie uh, came out the third movie came out recently so that will be like like that's like i'm sure a lot of pe you people have not seen that but these two i think most of you guys have seen i think so that's why like i'm going to talk and go into heavy spoiler territory and yeah
So yeah, guys, I I, th I know that like, this discussion post was a little bit weird because I was trying to kind of like I I was I wasn't able to make up my mind as to like should I like uh like mention the spoilers or should I not? Like I was really confused and like it really uh like hindered me while in during the discussion. So I've made up my mind now. Uh, I'll talk into like without like withholding anything. It will be whole spoiler filled discussion. For, so from the next episode's discussion, uh, I'll like talk freely because like uh, I know like this epi like this movie's discussion portion was a little bit weird because one time I was trying to like withheld myself from like mentioning spoilers and then again like I was like going into deep spoiler territory. It was like a mess. So yeah, guys. So. Thank you guys for watching and this was fate stay night movie uh, one heavens feel uh, presage flower so the next week is obviously i'm going to do the next movie which is called um what's it called uh lost butterfly yeah fate stay night movie heavens feel 2 lost butterfly and that movie like things will go down so i'm looking forward to it so yeah guys thank you guys for watching uh, if you guys enjoyed this reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say your opinion anything and no need to hold back any spoilers because i know what's going to happen <laughs> like the, i think this is the only like show where i can say that like usually in all of most of the shows i say that please guys don't post any spoilers but in this show i can say like do whatever the hell you want in the comment section like i know everything like there's no spoiler thing for me so <laughs> yeah so thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys in the next week with another uh, the next movie of heaven's field trilogy so until then goodbye and have a nice day